since you are one of the leading authorities on servant leadership, uh, I wanted to know how you would break that concept down uh, to the caste conscious Hindu in India, you know, where um, you just you just have the leader and the servant on two opposite sides of the spectrum. Well, I think you have to understand that servant leadership is really about the power of love, not the love of power. And I think where people get hung up is that they think if I'm going to be a servant, particularly to somebody supposedly lower than me, I'm going to lose my position. But you have to remember when Jesus washed the feet of the disciples, when he got up after he, he dried their feet, he said, you call me Lord and teacher, rightly so. So he wasn't saying I'm going to lose my position, but just as I have done for you, do for others. And so that's what people need to understand is that every human being the Lord put here and every human being, my mother used to say, has a pearl inside them and our job is to bring the pearl out. And the gospel in, in living the gospel is bringing that out, that goodness and that great quality in other people. And that's what servant leadership is all about. How can I help make you the best human being that you can possibly be, no matter where you are in the organization, no matter where you are in the cast. My job is to serve, not to be served. Because Jesus said, even I have to come to serve, not to be served. And if you remember, John and James brought their mother to him and said, can one of my sons sit in your right hand and one in your left hand in your heaven? I mean, she thought it was a hierarchy up there. And Jesus, after he said, it's not for me to, to uh, grant, he sat the disciples down. He said, you know, the authorities over the Gentiles lord it over to them. They use authority. Not so with you. And what people got to understand, I don't care where you are in the society, how big a deal you are. You're supposed to, if you're a follower of Jesus, you're here to serve, not to be served. You're there to help people be the best human being. That's what brings the gospel alive.